All right, let's hope it doesn't take 40 minutes to get this next part done. So we didn't even need to worry about the statue. Oh, come on. Pick it up with a tissue. Thank you. I eased the solid piece of plaster from the sand. Underneath, it had formed a perfect copy of the statue. Well, it's got a big nose. It's got fingerprints. Oh, he's holding it. Put it in, man. The hardened plaster cast fitted snugly into the five matching sockets. There was a soft thud. Then, silence. Boom! Woo! What lies beneath? So what's his name from Goonies? Um, I forget his name. What's his name? Chunk? Chunk. Ooh. You're gonna live with me now. Oh, he's the one. Give me the ice cream. Oh! The ice cream pit. just the spin. It kills me. I was right all along. Oh, Nico! So, where did you stay last night? What, what do you, you want to know? know? At McDevitt's. I got to drinking with Doyle and a couple of the guys. That explains why you look so ill today. Did you get any sleep at all? Oh, you're so caring. Not much. I had to share the room with another guy. Did he snow? Hardly. He was dead. <laughs> I forgot then about he that. He woke me in the middle of the night to help bail out the cellar. The cellar was flooded? Yeah. Some idiot <laughs> left the faucet running. And you say Peak Oops. Runner disappeared? Without a trace. Wait, did someone literally die? My visit yeah, was don't, don't you remember? There is a room, but it's not available yet. Why? Peak God's dead. dead. Oh, yeah. The Templar's gem. Whoever Jacques Marquet is, he's in for a disappointment. Jacques Marquet? He's the guy who should have collected the gem from Fitzgerald. I've been reading about Picram in He's this magazine. The media got its claws on him. Yeah, if I was his agent, I'd get him to lose the pipe. That dig must have been pretty important to him. Hell he am I looking at? chair at Durham University to go to Ireland. And now he's disappeared. A couple of dwarfs getting whipped. I thought I saw a squirrel. See what you can find out about Professor Pegram. I'll speak to the university. What are your plans? I want to find out who, what, or where Montfaucon was. All I've got to go by is the name and a picture of a hanged man. What do you know about Professor Pegram? I've seen a television program. Pegram's past. He's written a book, The Crusader Families of Ireland. Let's take another look at the manuscript. That's the tripod in the Croon Museum. Yeah. That's the gem that Pegram found in Loch Marne. I feel like we've got to go back There's to the museum. There's a looking at her reflection in a mirror, but the reflection has three hideous faces. The night scroll bears a phrase in Latin. Through my teachings, you will be enlightened. There's a guy working on a loom. There's a guy with a sword and a bull. Oh, shit. There's a guy. I'm going to say, is it going to be the same thing? Do you want to look after the gem? No, Josh. I'd be too tempted to sell it. Yeah, at least you're honest. Yeah. Are you sure you've never Honesty is best policy. Word? Positive. Did I show you this matchbook? Huh? Yes. Huh? Look, Nico. A handful of plaster. Yeah. Why is it that men never really grow up? You That's love it. Problem, Admit it. Your pockets stuffed with useless junk like little boys. You never know when useless junk might come in handy. Yeah, MacGyver. He'd beg to differ. 
Gonna gum. Hey, Nico, shake hands with me. No chance, Buster. Buster? Did I show you this? Yes. Yes. Uh, we I can't sit here all day, much as I'd like to. Okay. I mean, you can, but you're choosing to point Webster Cave. I mean, I'd rather sit with and her all day. Why don't you see if also has heard anything? Okay. Anything else I can do for you while I'm out? Shopping, a trip to the laundromat. Just take care of yourself. Get me a coffee. I'll do anything for you, Nico. Nico is love. Nico is life. If she dies, I write. Well, she clearly doesn't. If she dies, I riot. She gets kidnapped, is that close enough? If she dies, I riot. Talk to Granny. Hello, dear. Want some of this plaster? Shake my hand. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's Hello, just a little bit quick. Nick. Hello, my handsome friend. Hello, my queen. Have a diamond. What do you make of this gem? Or gem. Very nice, Sherry. A present for your girlfriend? A present She's for you? Girlfriend. Nonsense. You and her were made for Oh, you got to listen to the old lady. The heart wants you heard what the heart wants. You heard her, Nico. we got to get married. Does this powder mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Are you sure? Yeah, you can tell us. We're cool. I won't See snitch you later. on you. That's right, monsieur. You will. Sounds like a date. I'd rather you be my girlfriend. <laughs> so, princess is in another castle. I wasn't looking for the princess. I was looking for you. <gasps> I think we gotta go to the airport. Luckman. And why are we staying in Patty? I can't go anywhere. You didn't click the Luckman angle? It didn't have a little finger highlight. Try it again. I think that's where we went to last. Try it again. Oh yeah, I think so. That's Ireland. Yeah. Oh, okay then. <laughs> so, so we, we must have to go to the museum or whatever oh, she said. That's what she said, yeah. Oh. oh, okay, so we can't go to those areas anymore. Bum. I want to meet what's her name. She's my favourite. Hello, George! Hey, dude, I got this gem. Oh, hello. Who's that? Is that the guy we wanted to see? Hey, God, could you back off? I beg your pardon. Are you Andre Lobino? No, go away. That's me. You want my autograph? Don't jog off! I was told you may be able to help me. Help? My name is George Stobart. I'd like your professional opinion. Well, okay, shoot. I thought you told me to shoot you then. I was like, excuse me? Sure you don't want my autograph? Does the name Montfaucon mean anything to you? Sure, it was the most grisly spectacle in Paris until the revolution. Revolution! The public toilet? <laughs> Montfaucon <laughs> was the place of execution for many thousands. So, a public toilet. A dark temple of death 
with row upon row of arches, each one framing a grim exhibit. Scores of rotting corpses swung oh, on creaking rope, while the crawl right, devoured yeah. their flesh. That explains the image of the hanged man. Yeah, I take back what I said about the public I toilet. I reference to Montfaucon in Ireland, in a village called Lochmarn. Lochmarn? That's where Pegram was digging. You know Pegram? That's right. He'd left the excavation before I arrived. What do you know of the Pegram? Do you know Pegram well? Not really. I met him at a conference. I would have liked to talk to him in depth, but I didn't have time. When was this? Oh, yeah, back in the summer, uh, July. Ah, he hesitated. I think. The second week of July? Maybe. Yes, it was. Uh, just before Bastille Day. So Pegram was in Paris at the same time as the other victims. Pardon? Victims of what? Uh, nothing. I was going to say, yeah, keep that to yourself. On. Jesus. Where was the site of Montfaucon? To the northeast, near the Canal Saint Martin, but there's nothing there now. Zachary Martin. The gibbet was torn down during the revolution. Shame. I'd like your opinion. Every time I think revolution, I think of that episode of Young Ones. Revolution! With you? No, it's too fragile. And besides, there are certain people who'd stop at nothing to get their hands on it. Intriguing. Uh, do you have a copy of the text? Yeah, it's right here. It isn't much. Only a few Latin phrases. I was kind of hoping you'd help decipher the pictures. Without seeing the manuscript, uh, that's a tall order. Just tell me one thing. What does the image of two men Please tell me, thank you. Horse suggest to you? The Knights Templar. Does the Templar seal appear on this menu? They not afford a horse each, so they share. see that for myself. Ah. Can you tell me anything about the Knights One was trying to hide a bonus, so the other one sat behind Soldiers, in front of him. Diplomats, mercenaries, monks, bankers, you name it, the Templars fit. One had to drive and one had to navigate. The greatest fighting force in Christendom, the Militia of Christ. Jeez. <laughs> How did the Templars get their name? From the building in which they set up their headquarters. The King of Jerusalem gave them part of a mosque on the Temple Mount. It was said to have been the site of the original Temple of Solomon. The Order became known first as the Knights of the Temple, and later as the Knights Templar. You're a mine of information, André. Yeah. Glad to be of help, Georgie. And that was just from a bloody... I'm getting, I'm getting educated. How come the Templars became... Yeah, he's just so well coming through his head, there not looking at anything. There was a constant stream of new recruits to their ranks, many from noble families. They were required to swear a sacred oath of poverty, chastity, Shit. and obedience. So, their money, goods, and lands were donated to the Order. So basically monks. The Templars soon held land in France, Scotland, England, Spain, most of Europe, in fact. The poor Knights of Christ became the wealthiest power in Christendom. But they couldn't have the sex. Is it true the treasure of the Knights Templar was never found? Ah, who knows? So little knowledge of what really happened remains. Oh, if it does, the truth has never been made public. What do you mean by that? The Templars have attained mythological status, like the King Arthur of the Britons. There are people even now who say the Templars still exist. Mm. Do you think that's likely? No, not for a minute. Are you sure? The manuscript is being looked after by a friend. In Paris? Yeah, not far from here, in fact. Well, uh, just give me the address and I'll uh, come round and take a look. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe I should check with her first. A female friend? Yeah, she's a woman. Maybe it was my imagination, but I noticed uh -oh. a uh -oh. look in his eye. Maybe he's in on it. This friendly historian had turned into the big bad wolf. This friend who has the manuscript? Are we uh, the anonymous girlfriend? She lives at 360... Oh, 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 I, didn't... <laughs> ah, I, know I didn't mean to do that. I'll drop by. Oh, dude. As soon as I can. Never ever give out a friend's address. Oh, shit. I didn't think he was going to do it. I swear, if I ever had a friend give out my address, they're no longer my friend. Oh, they'd no longer be alive. Where did you get it? 
from Professor Pegram's messenger boy. Did uh, Pegram find this on his dig? Yeah, the site where this was found was a Templar castle. Do you think it could be part of the Templar treasure? No, oh, I shouldn't think so. Oh god, Nico, I gotta warn you. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. I will smack you. I will smack you with this croissant. No, oh, I need a phone. Nico! Go! Hey! I control you. I point, you walk. Uh, that one. Oh. Good guess. Didn't, you didn't exactly jump in. I wouldn't have picked that one. I think it's... Vizzeri. It's been so long since we've seen this map, I can't remember anything. Ha! I come to you, my love. Get in there. She has been kidnapped. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Oh, uh, Nico, I did a bad thing. I did a oopsie. Oh, hi. I didn't expect you back so soon. Why, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, shit, no. Let's take another look at the manuscript. Have you found out any more about the Knights Templar? Yes, I have. The guy responsible for the downfall was Philip IV, the King of France. Otherwise known as Philip Le Bel. Well, he is known to history as Philip the Fair. Le Bel. I doubt if the Templars called him that. I'm sure Andre will tell you all about him. Oh. Uh, okay then. I'll see you again soon. Well, that... Oh, uh -huh. oh, well, we'll just do the lap then. Talk to everyone. Talk to the police. The police. This way. I wonder if we can go back to the first spot. Maybe the cafe's reopened. It's only been an hour since the accident. Time is yeah, money. Time is money. Hey, buddy. Remember me? Hey, you want this gem? Excuse me. What do you want now? Oh, so rude. Yeah. I ain't seen you in a long time. Yeah, I thought we were friends. Have you heard of a man called Marquet? Yes. He used to be known as the Sounds Mole like it's called of Mac Mama. E. I have he's been hospitalized, probably by one of his rivals. Oh, Jesus. 
Damn. Which hospital was Marquet taken to? The Agenmeyer Clinic in the You are not supposed to tell me that! Why was Marquet known as the Mole of Montmartre? Because he lived in Montmartre, I suppose. Yeah, but why the Mole? I don't know. Maybe he ruined people's lawns. <laughs> Fair enough. Is Rosso here? Yes, he is. You wish to speak to him? Yes, I do. One moment, monsieur. I'm sure he's called Mole because he's bloody... It's Stobart, monsieur. He insists uh, on talking to you again. What is it you call them? Like a... Thank you, Mole. Oh, wow, what is it you call them? Well, give me a clue. Like a mole when they're... Like a s snitch, but not a... S they're working a for the enemy. Agent. Yeah, a double agent. Like, working... What you know what now, I mean. monsieur? Ever heard of a guy called Marquet? Jacques Marquet? Marquette. <laughs> I know the name. You are Marquette. He has a record for suspected blackmail, kidnapping, arson, and Shit. Art theft. An all rounder, huh? How come he's on the loose? His bravado is matched only by the courtroom skills of his attorney. He bribed. Have you heard of the Knights Templar? Les Templiers. But of course, monsieur, their fame is widespread throughout France. We I'm really intended to just research all this. Europe, it was the king of France who persecuted them, though. Indeed. That shook his cool. Underneath his cultured facade, <laughs> the man was real twitchy. Don't poke him. You're obviously a great admirer of the Knights Templar. They were men of great honor, monsieur. The flower of chivalry. Well, not everyone hippies. would share your views. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> not everyone shares my passion for Bartok. But if the Templars were as honorable as... That's enough. I do not wish to hear I your uninformed opinions, Stobard. Why do you get so wound up about the Knights Templar? They've been dead for centuries. I shouldn't have pushed my luck. <laughs> Maybe his ancestors were Templars. Whatever. I saw the anger flare in his eyes like Maybe his ancestors were killed by Maybe he's one of them. The Templars were the first true internationalists. 800 years on, and still the world is fragmented by nationalistic flag-waving fools. <sighs> you will excuse me. Uh, no. I'm not finished with you. Ah, right, get back here! Come on, I'll buy you a coffee and a donut. That usually cheers me up. Excuse me. What do you want now? I don't want to talk to you. Is Rosso here? Yes, he Yes, I do. One moment, monsieur. Get over he's, here. He's probably going to tell us to piss off. I'm not finished with he's you. Still not, monsieur. He insists on talking to you again. Tell him to go away. Thank you, Moo. Oh, he's going to come and tell me to piss off. What now? Well, first What's of all, point of that? I think you're pretty rude. I was not finished talking. Have you heard of Professor Pegram, the archaeologist? Molly Pegram, the second son of Lord Barclay Pegram. Hey, yeah, that's Barclay. him. I only Has read about he him in a magazine. ran into any dolls so lately? For the efficacy of Name the Chucky by any chance? What has he done this time? No, well, technically he's he in a mental hospital. Made an archaeological yeah. find in Ireland. Do you know Pegram well? I have connections with the family. Of course you do. I wouldn't say I knew him at all. Is his name really Molly? Of course not. That was the nickname he was given at school. Oh, man. All his friends and acquaintances know him as Molly. Molly, 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 you Molly. Of thugs called Flap and Guido. <laughs> I have known those two since God from special I forgot about them too. Flap is a nasty. Oh, just every time well. I think of Guido, but just think of the, Guido is the Jersey Shore. of the partnership. We do not you know them. I met them out front of the Hotel Ubu. So long, Inspector. Bye bye now. To the hospital. God. It's always so. You in here. When do I get to shoot a gun? Who no, cares about. I wanted to exit. God. Who cares about the names? When do we get the fucking guns? Yeah, you know, you, do, you don't get a gun till you tell me your name. I've had it up to here with your rules. My that's name like, is Clock. That's like my favourite, like, one-off character. 
When do we get the friggin' guns? Hospital? Hospital. I was gonna say, Hospital. you should not say the big... It's a, it's a... Hopital. Hopital. 